But yeah, this just looks smooth, flawless, amazing. All right, let's flip around. You can see a quite a bit different look for balanced versus frames per second. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today we'll be talking about game plugins. Now game plugins is an application that's made by Samsung for Samsung, and it gives you different modules for gaming. So it's very similar to Goodlock, where Goodlock is to customization, while game plugins is to gaming, and it gives you, as of right now, three different modules. The first one is talking about your daily limits. You can set a daily limit of gameplay per each game per each day. You also have Game Booster Plus, so you can set up how you want your game to be set up, if you want it to be for max frames per second, if you want it to be balanced, battery saving, and then you have Perf Z. It's a way that you're able to view your system performance indicators, the temperature, GPU, CPU, and frames per second. Now, before we dive a little bit more deeper inside of game plugins, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, and if you appreciate this video, if you find it to be helpful, make sure you hit on that subscribe button. About 83% of you watching this video is not subscribed. It is free to hit that subscribe button, so join this party. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications on the top right-hand side, and click on all. About 17% of you is actually Actually getting notifications for all future videos so make sure you hit on that so you don't miss any future vids so on the galaxy s20 right here i have everything installed turned on and i have all my different things specifically set up but first let's go to the galaxy s20 ultra so i can show you where you can get it downloaded and also the installation process in case if you do want to get this installed so head inside of your galaxy store application and once inside of here on the very top right hand side search for game plugins now, once you search for game plugins, it's going to be this one right here. You can see it's made by Samsung. That is the logo. When you get this one installed, it's going to install it pretty similar to Goodlock. So that means that now that you have game plugins installed, now you have to open up game plugins, and then you have to install each module. So we're going to go through, we'll hit on agree. Here is the three. You want to go down here, hit on install, hit on install. So we'll do this for all three of them and we'll be right back. Now that all three are installed, you're able to turn these ones on. Now that everything is installed, downloaded, and also turned on, now we can actually go through and customize for our gameplay per each game. So we'll start with this performance Z, then we'll go to daily limits, then we go to that game booster plus because there's a lot to unpack here. So make sure you stay tuned because there's a lot of useful and detailed information coming soon. So with this performance Z, it's really fast. Do you want to see your performance or not? And which performances would you like to see? And you'll see this when we actually play a game, it'll be shown on the top or on the left. If you want to see your frames per second, your CPU, GPU, and temperature. If there's any of these that you do not want to see, just simply turn it off. If you don't even care about checking out how your performance is doing, what the frame rate is for the game and the temperature, you can actually just have this one turned off. So I'm gonna keep it on for now so you can see it in the future. And now let's go to daily limits because this one kind of just is uh, self-explanatory. What is your total daily limit? And do you wanna set a limit for every single day? Or do you just want to set a limit for Monday through Friday? So that means that you can play for two hours on each of these days. And the cool thing is that through all the different settings and everything, you can actually see how long you've played. So I usually keep it at two hours. More than likely, I'm not going to be playing more than two hours in a day. So I'm going to keep it here, but it's long enough for me to play. We're going to go through and hit on apply. Now through this daily limit here, you can see how many minutes you've played. So really there's not much going on just because, I mean, the week just started. When you tap on one of these, it'll show you how much you've played it. It'll show you your, your daily play activity. I mean, there's a lot of things going on here for the week and for the month. So I've only played it for about five minutes on this device and that was a week or two ago. So you can go through and you can even set this up on your kid's phone so you can see what they've been doing, what they've been playing and how long they've been playing. Now, I don't really use this phone right here for a ton of gameplay. Uh, I mean, it's going to be my Galaxy S20 Ultra mostly, but we have everything set up on this device. So this is really all I wanted to show with this daily limits thing. So you can either have this on or have it off. It's just a cool way to see how much you've played. Now let's get to the important part of this entire thing, which is Game Booster Plus. Now through here, it'll show you your list of all of the games that you have. Now there's two places on the screen you can tap. You can tap on Asphalt 9, basically just 
clicking on the title of each of these games. It's going to show you some details, how long you've played. Uh, it's going to show your GPU, your CPU, the frames per second, your temperature, how much battery life it's been taking. If you have different setups right over here. So whoops, let me go back here. When you have like balance, uh, this is how long and, and what the GPU was. So this was me testing it. This was max frames per second, you know, taking a look. So you can see here that in the balanced of, of uh, the golf battle game here, it's kind of halfway. But then when it was turned on for full frames per second, it went way up there. So you can see all the differences between high quality, max frames per second. You can see balanced. You can tap on this. You can bring it up. So this way you can even turn on different modes. You can apply things to all the games. You can see how it's all set up. So if this diagram doesn't really mean much for you, then really all you need to look at is kind of just this little bar graph or a little line graph over here, letting you know uh, just how much usage and CPU is kind of being used. But really, so the nice things over here is when you tap on this little icon here, this is the majority of what you'll actually tap. I don't think you'll tap on the word as much unless if you care about those statistics and details, but this is the icon you tap. You can go in and you can start the game. And it's really nice because if you don't have game launcher, so this Galaxy S20 Ultra is actually an AT&T locked phone. They blocked game launcher. So this kind of brings it right on back and it makes it that I don't miss game launcher as much. So you can start the game from here. They're all listed in one little spot. When you tap this icon, this is how you can change how you want it to play. So let's say for right now, we want Asphalt 9 to be max frames per second, because when I do turn on this auto mode, it's gonna put it as balance. But on balance for Asphalt 9, yes, it does save a little bit of battery, but you're losing quality of gameplay. You're actually losing the frames per second. So if you want to save a little bit more battery and you don't care if it's a little bit choppy, then you put it on balance. But if you want it to be what I would suggest being the best option for almost every game, it'll be max frames per second. It'll beat out the battery saving, balance, high quality, and also a custom setup if you want to set it up. But max frames per second for me, I feel like is the best option for almost every single game. So through here, I have this one set up on auto. This one put it as max frames per second. This one's also max frames per second. Tune Blast is probably one that I can do balance. I feel like with this one, it's not going to take up too much of, you know, take away too much from the gameplay. Now, when it comes down to golf battle, you do need to have max frames per second because you have a tiny ball rolling pretty fast. Same thing with a car up here. It's going really fast. So to show you exactly what this application is capable of doing, let's go to golf battle because it is a small ball that's going pretty fast. We're going to move it into this battery savings. So it should be bringing down the quality just a little bit. Right after this, we'll move over into that max frames per second. Here is that timer right there. You are able to move this. So if you do a little press and hold, you can actually move it and get it out of the way. Um, and if you just press and hold on it, it'll bring up some of its settings and you can pin it, unpin it. You can make it show uh, bold if you need it to be a different color, a little bit more transparent or not. And then on the very top, you can see your frames per second, GPU, CPU. If you tap it, it'll fold up, it'll go smaller. And the reason why I've called it fold up is because when you actually open this up, you press and hold. This is where it actually has an option right here for auto fold. So you can have it go close small. But if I, if I want a little indicator there, I want to at least read it. It is still pretty small. You can take off any of these if you want to. You can pin it, unpin it, see it, unsee it, things like that. So we're going to leave it. Let's just go into a, a play right here really fast. So this one is again on battery saving. Now, when you actually play the game, especially with my eyes, I don't know if the computer, I don't know if the camera is picking it up as much. So I'm, I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to hit it. So you see how it's kind of, uh, I guess it's fluttering a little bit. It's a little choppy. It's not fully keeping up with everything. Um, and I mean, I just know this just because I've, I've played this quite a few times in every single setting. So this is what it looked like, which was a bad hole. This is what it looked like when you play it with that battery saving. So now let's actually close out of that game. We'll head back inside of the game booster. Let's set this one over into max frames per second. Now, this is what I would suggest to be the best setting for all of the games. So now that we have golf battle set up, max frames per second, let's head inside of here. Uh, if you were watching it from the game before, you'll notice some of these numbers will be a little bit higher this time. Now, when you go into play, we're going to hit play here. Let's see just how smooth it is. It actually makes a huge difference. So right now, this just looks buttery smooth. For me, the way that I'm looking at it with my own human eyes, 
I don't know for a fact if my camera will be able to pick up all of the frames per second that the human eye is able to really pick up, but this is smooth. It looks good. Uh, hey, look at that. I got first. I don't know if I got the least amount of hits, but this is a really fun golf game if you guys are looking for something to pass the time, uh, if you're looking for a new toilet game or something to do right before you go to bed or whatever. It's really fun. But in terms of uh, game, the game tools here or the game plugins, uh, the max frames per second is the best. So now let's head over into asphalt. So when you go inside of asphalt, again, let's go inside of balance. Let's go to apply. Let's go and start the game. And what I'll do is we'll play this game here just for a little bit. Then we'll go into max frames per second. And then once that is done, we'll go back and we'll look at the statistics and you can see that the max frames per second is just using a lot more of your phone, but it's going to look way better. Again, this one is set up to balanced. So let's go, let's hit on play. So, so far as of right now, it's, it's, it's looking pretty good. Um, it's going at 30 frames per second and what else do we got? Just see how smooth this is. Go, 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 go. that was real we'd be all over the place so that was a little bit of the gameplay over there you can see some of the statistics over here so now let's actually head out of this game let's move back over inside of the game plugins and we can also take a look at some of the statistics as well so with this game that we just got done doing you can see that the 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 cpu and the gpu so the gpu is pretty down the cpu was up frames per second was kind of halfway up there uh, again this one was set up on balanced so now let's move over inside of the Asphalt 9. Let's move over into the max frames per second. Let's hit on apply. Let's start the game one more time. And then let's take a look at the differences. Now again, if at any point you need to get rid of some of these, just give this thing a press and hold. Same thing with the timer if you don't need to see it. Now heading into the game with the max frames per second. Again, you know, the camera lens and the way that it shoots, it's not gonna be as smooth as what your human eye is able to do with the uh, 120 hertz and with uh, everything else with the refresh rate. But yeah, this just looks smooth, flawless, amazing. All right, let's flip around. Yeah, let's get some boosters. Does anybody else play this game at all? <laughs> I'm on a team. I don't think I, I play as, you know, competitively as I used to with this thing. Um, but, you know, it's actually pretty fun to play this game when you're on the team and, and y'all can like, you know, complete challenges and things together. I mean, the performance on this is just stellar. I mean, Samsung phones are just known for their gameplay, especially with their displays, the GPUs. Ooh. All right, so I think that should be a good enough, you know, information for the statistics for us to pull up. Uh, hopefully you can maybe see a little bit of a difference, you know, through the camera. Let's go inside of Asphalt 9. So max frames per second, you can see is actually quite high. The the, the uh, CPU is going to be pretty high. GPU is sitting right there. You can see the battery percentage. So when we flip back and forth between the two, here's balance. And you take a look how the, the frames per second is not as high. Frames per second here is pretty high. And then you can also see what is going on here. It's It seems to be a little bit more level. And there's a, there was a lot that was going on right there. Um, inside of the game, but you can see a quite a bit different look for balanced versus frames per second. So as you go through some of these here, you might not need to have custom. You might not need to have the auto on. If you put it as the max frames per second, that might be one of the best things. 
Unless if you have a game that doesn't really need to have all of that, it'll still perform pretty well underneath Balanced. Maybe it's a game you play a lot. It's one of those easier, simpler games. Balance is gonna be a really good option for you. But really, this was everything you needed to know about game plugins. You can check out all your performances. You can have it on or off. Daily limit, you can set it, not set it. If you're really only here to keep everything in one spot, but also put it at the best setting for the phone or for uh, the game and battery display, things like that, then the Game Booster Plus is gonna be fantastic. Again, tap on the icon to actually switch it between all the different modes. And then when you don't need to switch between the modes, you wanna take a look at the statistics, take a look at the little icon here. You can switch it between the modes and as well as the days. You can hit the play button that you can actually launch the game. So that makes it super you know, helpful and, uh, and convenient. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.